Hey guys, getting that time of year, ice fishing season. Got all my stuff piled up here in the corner. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my bait tank that I'm using to hold all my bait for the ice fishing season this year. Uh, I just built it this year. Last year I used a, uh, actually it's right here, I, built, I used this tote. I don't know, maybe like a 35 gallon tote. Or something like that didn't didn't work great just use a regular aquarium fish tank aquarium pump filter it's actually right here whisperer something like that it worked all right uh, but my new setup uh, it's a lot bigger a lot better too so show it to you there it is it's running the shop light above it um, I keep it in my basement, it is a heated basement, and this filter actually does a pretty good job, especially in this temperature, of keeping that water pretty clear. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I got here. It's a uh, Rubbermaid, 100 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank. Uh, you get it at your local farm store. And I just got a cover here with holes drilled in it, some screens over it, those fish. Those fish can jump through pretty much anything, and they will. And that also keeps my cat out of here, but um, just put it's just a pet screen for a screen door. And I've uh, got my little crankbait handle here. Uh, we just lift this up. And this, this right here is a divider, and it actually goes in this notch right here and I was going to keep the bigger fish on this side and the smaller fish on this side. I spent a lot of time making this thing and it's pretty cool and it actually you know it would work so I used it for a little while and then I realized I had a whole bunch of little fish over here and there wasn't much over here anymore so somehow they were getting around uh, on the bottom of this thing so that's kind of pointless to you, so I'll have to do something different next year, probably silicone around the corners or something so they can't get around it, but so all my bait is kind of spread out now, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. Mostly, I got mostly uh, medium, medium sized shiners in here. I have a few large and a couple jumbo sized shiners in here too. Um, I haven't had any dye in me on the tank yet, I've had this thing going for a couple weeks now. Um, I haven't changed the water at all. I'm going to see how long it'll go before I have to change it. I have some carbon I can add to it. It starts getting cloudy and stuff. So, this is basically what it is. I just got a... This is just extra aeration here. Just a bubbler from my old turtle tank. And this is... This is the brains of the whole thing here. This is what keeps that water pretty clear. Um, it's the, uh, the fish and sit bucket ice fishing for your bait that most people use, but I don't use it anymore, so I turned it into a filter. So it's a gravity, standard gravity filter. Turn the filter off so we actually hear something. So basically, down inside the tank, in that box right there, is a three to 500 gallon per hour uh, pond pump that's made just for like an outdoor pond. Um, and I have it cranked up so it's all the way up to 500 gallons per hour. So it'll 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 clean this tank five times every hour. It'll cycle this all the water in this tank through the filter five times in one hour. Um, so that's pretty good. And you can see I got quite a bit. I got probably close to 20 dozen in there. Bunch of bait. I don't know if I put too much more in there. We had a couple suckers. But let's get back to this. So basically, there's a pump down there. It pumps it up through this pipe into the filter. This is just an overflow. Inside the filter, we have a spray bar, which is this. Water sprays out onto this. Uh, this is just like a bristle pad for like a floor cleaning machine that I cut to fit in the bucket. So basically, I have one layer of this, 
um, it's fairly coarse, so it doesn't, it's not, it's not gonna filter out the very fine stuff. It just catches the big stuff, as you can see. There's some gunk in there. Underneath that, I have another one of those, just as a backup. Underneath that, see if we can get at it, is an even thinner bristle pad type thing. It's a little finer. And underneath that, I don't know if I can get in there. Yep. Underneath that, you can see these two little layers right here. They're like little polyfill stuff that you use in quilting as a padding. And then underneath that is just a bunch of little dishwasher, a little dish dish scrubbies. They're just there's probably two layers thick of them in there. Just a whole bunch of them from the dollar store. Just got like three, four packages of them. Just dumped them in the bottom. And that acts as a biofilter. All the all the bacteria and stuff will stick to that, and it'll create a, a a nice filter in there. So that's basically what this is. It's just a it's just a your basic gravity filter. So once the water comes in here, it filters all through that. And this pipe actually goes, if you can imagine it, if it goes into the bucket, and then there's an elbow here, and it goes straight down, just off the bottom into the into the scrubbies, just off the bottom a little bit. So all the water has to go through all these filters. It gets sucked down through there, goes all the way down into the scr the scrubbies, and then it fills up that tube, and then gets pumped out into the into the tank and. Uh, I kind of have it angled here so it creates a little bit of a current. They like that a lot better if there's a little bit of a current going around. Um, Alright, so there's the spray by. So I'm pretty impressed with this. It's a, it's a much better system than, uh, than the previous one that I was using last year. You know, costs a little bit more to set up, but I'm gonna have it for quite a while and holds a lot more bait. Just a lot easier than going, you know, getting up a little bit earlier and going to the bait shop and having to buy your bait. You can just go out and trap it and keep it in your house and have as much as you want. So that's that. But yeah, so that's it. And then I just got that air pump which just hooked up to this. Just a little, you know, aquarium air pump. Just give them little bubbles in there. Put some silicone around so it won't vibrate off the table. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll see if I can answer it or uh, help you out. Thanks for watching.